Well, let's talk now to the aviation analyst, Sally Gethin from Gethin's In-Flight News. Sally, thank you very much for being with us on BBC News today. Uh, what do you make of this uh, in suggestion that the government hasn't been officially announced yet, but is going to introduce a 14-day quarantine for travellers arriving in the UK? Well, it doesn't really make sense uh, for the aviation industry in particular. Uh, just when aviation now is putting stringent measures in place, to improve uh, health and hygiene standards. At, at this point in time now, the government's going in this new direction with this quarantine, which is mooted to come into force at the end of the month. So just at the point where the economy needs to be kick-started or gradually ramped up, aviation will go in a different direction and it will definitely have a huge impact for uh, returning passengers it will put them off actually traveling and they will think twice about coming back into the UK. Plenty of countries have done it though. I mean, Australia is the, the example that leaps immediately to mind, did it quite early. Some of the other countries in South Asia too. Isn't this simply the UK following best practice to try and reduce the risk, having got apparently got uh, coronavirus under control in the UK, of not reintroducing it as it were by the back door? Yes, but the chronology is an issue, as you just said, very early on in the game. It should really have been part of a cohesive strategy right from the beginning. But now it's almost like uh, cutting across a lot of the uh, easing up of the lockdown measures that are coming into force. And also there's so many new measures being introduced anyway at airports and airlines like temperature checks, and increased um, sanitation, airlines are doing deep cleaning, uh, the cabin air is improving, uh, it's, it's very clean, it's the same quality air, for example, that will be used in operating theatres. So actually, aviation is playing its part already. And also, we don't know how this quarantine is going to look and feel like. If it's uh, done on a voluntary basis, expecting passengers to self-isolate at home for two weeks, how is that actually going to be enforced? Will it actually work? Let me ask you about uh, an announcement came Saturday from Air France, which is that it is to introduce from uh, Monday the 11th, that's this coming Monday, uh, restrictions. Uh, people will be temperature tested before they're allowed to board flights and if their temperature exceeds 38 degrees, uh, they will not be allowed to travel, they'll get a free transfer to a later flight. Uh, they're also going to be compulsory wearing a face mask, which I think is to bring it into line with a directive from President Macron uh, requiring all public transport users to, to have face masks. Nonetheless, uh, this is all going to cause airlines quite a lot of difficulty long term, isn't it? Social distancing on an aircraft when the business model is based on piling them high and keeping the prices down. Right, but behind the scenes over the last few weeks as the pandemic really hit home in various countries, especially the UK, aviation has been busy behind the scenes, meeting, convening, working out new standards and actually uh, getting ahead of the curve with this. So what we're seeing with Air France is actually not unusual. That's what's happening uh, on a nation-by-nation -nation case basis, airline-by-airline, airline, sometimes airport-by-airport. Airport. But behind the scenes, the aviation industry is working with WHO, and a lot of these measures will be implemented uh, on a global basis anyway. So Sally Gethin, being... we're Thank going you. to leave it there. Sally Gethin right. of Gethin's In-Flight News, good to speak to you again.